Well, the U.S. Department of Justice moving swiftly this morning to investigate the deadly shooting uh, as a federal hate crime. Attorney General Loretta Lynch ordering the Civil Rights Division, the FBI, and the U.S. Attorney's Office in South Carolina to conduct a parallel investigation here. Rich Lowry is editor of the National Review and a Fox News contributor. Rich, good morning to you. Good to have Hi, you with us this morning. Awful story coming out of South Terrible. Carolina. Um, and we're just getting more details as we speak. We're working to confirm all of those. Um, but in the meantime, this decision by the Justice Department to begin a hate crimes investigation, is that called for at this point, do you believe? Well, I, I would just caution everyone to avoid drawing large social lessons from this in the immediate aftermath when we don't really know the facts. And in past mass shootings, that's been the impulse. That's what we've done. And we've learned that the killer is actually a mentally disturbed person who has had an untreated serious mental illness and there hasn't been any social lessons at all. Now, obviously, this is an unspeakably heinous act there are tremendous historical resonances to this church, but let's get all the facts before we begin drawing enormous lessons from it. Yeah, I mean, it would appear at least at this point, Rich, that the conclusion is being drawn based on words that he may have said while he was in there, because there are thankfully three survivors, one of whom was instructed, according to the reports that we got, to go tell the story of what happened. Now, I would, I would assume that the investigation is based on the words that she tran transferred. Right, well, I'm sure he said hateful things. I mean, this is inherently a hateful act, but you can say hateful things and be a completely sane, cold-blooded, racist killer, which perhaps this young man is. You can also say hateful things and be a completely out of your mind lunatic, which is also possible this young man is. So we need to know more. And oftentimes, you know, we've uh, there was a, a rampage killing in California a year or so ago, and, and it targeted especially women. And there's a major social media campaign, oh, this is misogyny, this goes to, you know, what a, a white patriarchal society we have and how young uh, men think they own women. Well, the man was really just completely deranged and out of his mind. And if that's true of this guy, we'll learn it very soon. We'll learn that his parents were afraid of him. We'll learn that he was in counseling. We'll learn that he was referred for psychiatric, psychiatric help. We'll learn that he was on drugs or was prescribed drugs that he wasn't taking. That has been the pattern and other cases. Again, we don't know whether that's the case here or not. We need to know more. Well, uh, exactly what you described is what we have seen in young men of this age group in time and time again in these kinds of heinous uh, acts and shootings that have been carried out. And as you point out, Rich, quite uh, appropriately, I think, we don't know. There's so much that we don't know at this point. So we do have to be very careful in characterizing uh, his motives, his mental state, and what was going on here. But what we do know is that this is an absolute tragedy uh, for yeah, these well, the, people. Yeah, well, the very first impulse should be to pray for the victims, for their families, and for justice to be done in this case. Well said. We'll leave it there. Rich, thank you very much. Thanks, Mark. So now we think